Hi, this is Kathy for Trans by Deaf, and this week we have a topic which was suggested by four different hosts to be an important topic that we talk about. In light of the current votes in North Carolina and in Mississippi and the current negative political ramifications, particularly in North Carolina, of the vote to ban transgender people to their restroom of their birth gender. All of the hosts thought we needed to talk about the topic and say is this a response to the conservative religious people who are looking for a way to force their beliefs on us as a trans community. The way I feel about this is that there are a certain part of our people in this country and probably across the world who do not like and do not look favorably on us as trans people. They have watched over and over again the trans community and the LGBT community in general make great strides toward uh, equality in work in the workplace, in the marriage equality, and in being able to use the restrooms of our choice. This has, you has, in my opinion, fired up this conservative, backward group of people to try and block any further gains that we might make as a trans community. And I think that we as a trans community are going to have to be real careful that this conservative part of our country and conservative part of the world do not convince the other people that the paths that we have made are and inroads that we have made in getting ourselves equal to the other people and get rid of those uh, gains that we've lost. I think we have to be politically very active and politically very outspoken on trans rights and on LGBT rights in general. I think we have to be out there educating and talking to people about it. I know last fall when there was a bathroom bill or bathroom uh, referendum in Houston, I received several interesting questions from people who I work with uh, on a regular basis in Houston. One of them came from an employer who looked at me and he said, what do you think of this bill to make you use the birth the bathroom of your birth gender. And I looked at him and I said, how would you feel if you knowing that I am transgender, if I walked in to the men's restroom and used the men's restroom? He looked at me and said, I would feel very, very uncomfortable with you in the men's restroom. And I said, well, if this bill passes, you as my boss and as my employer here, even though it's only now and again when I come down here on a consulting problem, would be forced to tell me that I had to use the same restroom as you. And I said the majority of the transgender people that you will run across here in the Houston area are just like me. They are working. They are living as the gender that they feel inside not as a birth gender where they felt very uncomfortable. And he said, well, that's a very good point that I had not thought about. Another one of these instances that happened to me was a couple of secretaries in another office in which I was doing some work for looked at me and they said, do you think that this bill should go in? And I said, no, I do not. I said, 
do you feel uncomfortable with me, with, with me in the women's restroom with you? And they said, no, we have never known you as anything other than a woman. And I said, yes, that's exactly the situation. You have got to keep in mind that when they, many of these states try to pass bathroom bills, the transgender people like me and others who have been male, female to male, are going there dressed in the appropriate attire for their, the gender which they represent. And it would make everybody involved very uncomfortable. If they restrict our rights, our marriage rights, or other rights, it would make those people uncomfortable. But I think the only way which we can prevent that is for us talking to the people that we have in our realm and explaining to them what it really means to us and how it would impact them. Because I feel these two examples I've given you are examples of the fact that these people had not really considered what the ramifications are if I should go into a men's restroom or a trans woman should walk into the women's restroom. Well, those are my thoughts on today. I would certainly encourage you, as the viewers, to become active to block any of these conservative backwards people who want to ban us from using the restroom of our choice, particularly for us people who are full-time uh, transgender, there we would feel as uncomfortable in that restroom as you would feel uncomfortable if we walked in that in the wrong restroom. Well, if you have a comment, please leave it in the box below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you would like to see more videos by Trans by Deaf, please subscribe to our channel. We will see you again next week. Bye.